and on. Could be. Kind of on hold. <laughs> kind of on right. hold. Uh, welcome, everyone, to tonight's regularly scheduled Collaborating Connections professional Zoom meeting. My name is Dawn Evans Casey, and I'm the leader of Collaborating Connections. Uh, our group, Collaborating Connections, is part of the TTR networking family, and TTR stands for To the Rescue. It's been around for more than 13 years, and uh, Collaborating Connections has been around for seven years total. And um, whereas we used to meet in person, um, since COVID, we have been meeting virtually via Zoom. And uh, in that manner, we're able to connect with wonderful professionals from coast to coast and around the world. So if you happen to be part of our listening audience, uh, picking up this recording on social media, uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, or YouTube, we certainly would love to have you uh, join us and share a little bit about you and your business. We get started every week of uh, talking about gratitude things that we're grateful for, as well as wins. Um, we do that on both a, a personal or, or business realm. So it helps us get to know each other better and know what's going on in our lives, what's important and what brings us joy. And uh, so I'm going to open it up to anybody who wants to <clears throat> hear any words of gratitude or wins that they have experienced in the recent past anybody oh well. so all right obviously you guys know what my biggest gratitude is <laughs> this one sitting next to me he's home so i'll take that all day every day but um, mm. the win that is super cool i had today is um one of my clients are doing this whole get to know you videos going out on social media so I got to do that interview today, and I know based on their followings, it's going to give me a lot of exposure. So I'm kind of excited about that. Good. So, cool. yeah, and they're across Illinois and Texas. Oh, good. Yeah. So hoping it leads to leads. Wonderful. And you can, you can work with anybody anywhere, probably three, right? That's right. why it's exciting. I know you sent me a message. I just wanted to make sure I'm understanding. Okay. Yeah. Cool. No, the, the re email I sent you, Jennifer, was to kind of figure out if there's people from, because I've been putting it on my social media, so I didn't know if any of my past connections have signed up, because um, a lot of them <laughs> have started small businesses. And what I wanted to make sure was if there's people from other states besides Indiana, like, if Carol's going to be on there, obviously I'll cover Indiana and Florida, but I want to yeah. make sure I, I'm covering federal, but I just want to make sure that I at least cover the states that somebody's on the call for. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, we, I don't even know. So unfortunately, unless you recognize names, I mean, some of them I will, but yeah, the rest some of them you do. And we have a couple more weeks, fortunately. Yeah. Um, and I know it's out on multiple platforms. So, yeah. Cool. My team's putting it out every day next week. Cool. How exciting. Yeah. Very exciting. Super awesome. So, there you go. All right. And you got the information, the, the link that I sent you about travel insurance. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't shared it with anybody, but yes, I did. Okay. Good, good. Anybody else got uh, words of gratitude or uh, wins, business or personal, that they'd like to share? I guess I would just say that I am thankful for my voice. I know last week, I think I was telling you guys it was better anyway, but it has gotten better. Still on uh, trying to protocol for whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm out of steroids, but I'm hoping I'll be able to get anyway it doesn't matter but we had a really nice meeting yesterday morning and I really on some Mondays I'm just like I do not want to be not that you ladies bug me or anything you're wonderful 
but it was just, I just really was kind of like, and we were supposed to have a guest. She didn't show up, but the ladies who were on that call, um, I really, I hope because I got a very good start to my week. So just every one of these calls, every one of these meetings, just, I, I am very thankful for. So now I'm going to start sounding hoarse again. I'm not going to do that. I'll get depressed. So, but I am very thankful for the whole network and just those wonderful things that come out of those meetings and you don't even see it coming. It just comes. So thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for sharing. I, uh, I really enjoyed that Monday morning meeting as well. I had been trying to get on it for, for weeks, but boy, Monday morning is a tough time for me. <laughs> um, so it was just, it was just perfect that, that I was able to, to jump on yesterday. And if um, I can just really quickly, quickly say that, um, we've been trying to kind of steer that, that meeting, trying to figure out. And we've done a lot of different odds and ends. And Catherine Barhas Bjork, that crazy red-haired lady, um, she <laughs> yesterday, she the end of it was just so you know what our our meeting was kind of about. What it was taking your crazy out to play. It was you know sometimes you just got to take your crazy out to play. And I think we'd I all. I think agree. she said your inner child. I said crazy. Okay, and well, then it just right. turned into that. <laughs> But it was like, it was, it was really, it's hard to explain, you know? I mean, and we had a, we all were feeling a little stressed and or whatever, you know, different things. And um, um, it was just, it was like, we all left, left laughing, but I do. Yeah. You were the crazy, definitely Pav V3, but that, but that is why I think that's really an essential meeting to have. A while back, Nicole Williams had the 6 a.m. call, and that was that was hard for people. That was start your week. I think this is kind of a compromise. You know, I know that not everybody can do a Monday morning at 9, but we'll figure that out as we go, and maybe there will be some adjustments. But thank you, Don. It was nice to have you on, and I'll quit talking. There we go. No problem. Um, so I'm going to go through um some of my my wins or what I'm grateful for uh just today I got a referral from Lisa Bowers who uh I know through TTR networking and uh last time I saw her was at an Inspire Small Biz um gathering and um she connected me with her best friend I think she said they've been best friends since eighth grade who had mentioned that she wanted to travel more and uh and and so she made a warm introduction and we've been exchanging some text messages now but uh, i told her i would love to help her uh, fulfill her dreams of more travel in her life so it was so cool because you know lisa and i have known each other for a while um, I don't think that I've arranged any travel for her directly, but she's just heard me talk about it over and over and over again. And uh, that she would refer me to her best friend is is awesome. So I very much appreciate that. Uh, much gratitude there. And um, I, I got to go roller skating this weekend. So I got in some exercise. Um, it's something that I've loved to do. That was taking my inner child out to play. Um, I did fall a couple of times, <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm still at it. No broken bones, no, uh, no terrible aches. So it was a good deal overall. And I look forward to doing it again. Um, so. Uh, also I had a little chocolate excursion this weekend. So just, it was what very well-rounded. I, uh, went to DeBrand's on the North side of Indy and, oh my gosh, this, this, uh, season they have huge, I mean, huge candied apples, caramel apples. Uh, this, the one that I got was dipped in caramel, then covered in, in nuts and then dipped in dark chocolate. So multiple Ooh. layers. And it was like, I don't know, the size of a small pumpkin. Wow. Uh, so 
I, I've been cutting on it and eating on it <laughs> ever since the weekend, but very enjoyable and uh, got my chocolate fix. So I'm a happy camper. So that's my, my wins and gratitude. <laughs> Anybody else? What you got, CB? Always save the best for last. <laughs> now, as we know, a lot of people look at the world as win or lose. And I'm one of those that believe in win or learn. And to that end, on Friday, I was supposed to have a whole whole day photography session doing headshots. And um, I got there and they were dressed up for Halloween. They had a whole bunch of other stuff going on. So I talked with the director. We kind of uh, rescheduled it for November. I think it's the 15th. It might be the 16th. Anyway. Um but instead of sitting there and taking it as a loss, um, as a photographer, one of the things I will tell you is you have to be able to think on your feet and you have to be able to think fast. Um, it's definitely speed chess when you're a photographer. And so speaking to the director, um, what I realized is, is that um, their students do not quite understand the need for a headshot. Um, these are all entrepreneurs. They are all starting up their own businesses, but um, they really aren't sophisticated enough in some ways to understand the need for that. So instead of spending the whole day there and maybe getting five or six images out of the whole thing, um, it has led me to rethink and redesign how I'm approaching this so I do better. So whereas I can look at it as a loss, I can look at it as an opportunity to reorganize and to do it even better. And um, in talking with her, I also talked about getting in with the other uh, facilities that they have because they have about 16 or 17 different facilities. So what I learn here, I can definitely apply across the board. So instead of sitting here and going, oh, I had a loss, no, I had a win. And it's a win that I can carry forward into a lot of stuff. Sometimes we have to remember that just because there's a no doesn't mean that there's not going to be a bigger yes coming in the future. So as we struggle with stuff, as we have our setbacks, we have to step back from it and really take a look at the opportunity that's being given to us, not just the, the loss that we wanted. So from something we wanted, I should say. So I'm very grateful for the opportunity. I'm very grateful to be able to come back and do stronger and do a lot better. So that's my win. Super fantastic. I like it. Uh, speaking of, you mentioned that these um, young folks don't know, um, some don't know the value of that headshot is um, putting together some type of uh, a communication for, for young people about the importance of the headshot as part of their overall portfolio as uh, young entrepreneurs? What uh, I was, I was going to do it in three different ways. Um, and that way it's kind of um, staged in, okay? Um, I'm going to have the director put out an email to everybody. And that way I can kind of talk about you are your brand and your your face, your personality, all of that is part of what markets you and sells you. And so you need to have a marketing tool, Headshot, that represents you, represents your brand, and represents what you're working towards. Um, so that I was going to do as an email. I was going to um, have a flyer set up. And then I was thinking about getting a handful of little business cards. There's a, a clock in place where they have to like register every day mm -hmm. and having those little cards sitting there. And that way they're um, they're kind of there and they can take a look at it and they kind of have it with them. And it has the date for the uh, uh, shoot and everything from there. So it's really an opportunity to educate as well as um, provide something of value for them. So it's it's really, I think, can be an across the board win for a lot of things, so. Yeah, sounds good, sounds good. Thank you for sharing, CB. Carol, any wins or uh, words of gratitude you wanna share? 
Yeah, I've got gratitude. I don't have any wins this last week, but over the weekend, I was very grateful to be able to attend a wedding on Saturday, and it was the son of a dear friend of mine, and we have known each other since 1976 and stayed friends all these years, and her son got married Saturday night, and I drove to Arkansas to, to go to that wedding, Jonesboro, Arkansas. It was in Bono, Arkansas, which is right outside of Jonesboro, but um, eight hours there and eight hours back. I was very grateful I had the patience to do that because I was by myself, but I did it. And uh, But the wedding was Halloween themed. So Beetlejuice performed the ceremony and he nailed it, literally nailed it. Um, he had a few beers before that, so he did a really good job of nailing every all the little quirks and things that Beetlejuice did during the movie. And most of everybody else was in costume, and it was just fun, and it was good to see her son again. I I, I knew her before he was born, so I have I'm his other mom basically. So it was fun and um, good and just a, a really fun weekend. I, I found a really cute Airbnb in Jonesboro that I stayed at and just uh, had a good time and stayed an extra day and visited and then drove home yesterday. So it was I was very grateful that I went. Very grateful I went. Cool. Cool. Well, we're glad that you made it there and back safely, certainly. To yeah, be with me too. Tonight. And I'm glad that you enjoyed your time uh, with your girlfriend and her family. <laughs> that That's cool. I, I saw, I think, a couple of pictures, at least online, mm -hmm. of the, the Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice ceremony, which yeah. is, 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 is crazy to yeah. imagine. Years from now that they'll look back on their wedding album and... <laughs> mm -hmm. And nobody just, will forget it. Right. Nobody. Right. So. Thanks for sharing, Carol. Okay. Um, next, we're going to roll into our TTR networking updates. So I'm going to ask our uh, illustrious leader, Jennifer Johnson. What have you got for us tonight? Jennifer, take it away. You know, it was actually funny. I was like, God, how did I get to be the illustrious leader? I don't even know what that means, darn. I don't even know. We have so much coming up, guys. We, we really do. Um, it's all good. It's all really good. Lots of things coming up that you will see on um, emails like crazy. Um, and I know Pavi 3 is on. So she will be hopefully sharing more, but the, I would say the, the number one thing is not everything going on next week. Although I do have some music, you can come and see me at the Christmas gift and Navi show if you want to, but the week after Pavi three on Thursday, November 14th is doing, um, 2025 things to get ready for. 2025 HR compliance kind of things. Um, and I know she can tell us more. It is on, I actually have it, it's going to be sent out either tomorrow or the next day again. I'm going to keep it in front of everybody because um, there's just, I think there's so many questions. I know um, Pavi3 can probably lend a lot of good stuff to that. I mean, you guys think of it, send them to her, but you can also ask her that night. Correct, Pavi3? Yes. There. Thursday, yes. November 14th, seven o'clock. We do need you to register. And the really cool thing, Pavi3 showed me how to do a uh, whatever, uh, invite through the calendar. So I actually sent out a calendar invite to people who've registered. So those who register get a calendar invite with the Zoom information, right? I don't know if that was- As a right. reminder, yes. It's, yes, so a reminder. You but... have to, Jennifer, you yeah, have so I... to put the Zoom link in there and then say send all. Okay, well, yeah. it's at the bottom of the thing. I mean, I put it in the information. Oh, you so, already did that? Yeah, it's in okay. there. So look at the, yeah. Okay. So I would just say that, 
kind of me being old lady-ish maybe, but I wanted to make sure it was in there. So look at that. I'm going to try to do that a little bit better. Uh, Pod V3 and I kind of had a conversation a couple of weeks ago about, you know, a lot of people sign up for things, but a lot of times they forget or they're doing something else. And I can't imagine people forgetting my meetings and my, my events, but they do. Anyway, so we did that. Um, but that is two weeks from Thursday. Yeah, two weeks from Thursday. And then we have our the November 22nd. Well, actually, November 20th. No? Just keep talking about the 22nd. Okay, the 20. Oh, it's not going to happen. Okay, the 22nd. All right, 22nd. Forget that. <laughs> 22nd is our next and our last Fun Friday of 2024. And if you've been to any of our Fun Fridays, it's a little bit different. We have um, our sponsors who are our global partners, KPSK and um, <clears throat> and um, Offset House Printing are two of our, uh, our global partners. Then we have sponsors that is uh, a and Solar Watch, and for this one, we have Sarah Care Indy, which is a new one for this event. We're going to be at Anchor Health Chiropractic. And you want to be there to see all these things. And there's door prizes. And then we actually do some fun interactive networking events uh, during that day. So that is um, Friday, November 22nd, which will be here before you know it. And that is from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. in the morning. So if you're good on that, um, then uh, we don't do anything through through Thanksgiving week. We don't. There may be a couple other things through Inspire Small, but we have a number of events coming up in December. We try to get the bulk of our stuff done before you hit the holidays. So early December, there are a couple events, but I'll leave it at that. Just when you get these emails, please, please, um, you know, put, you know, register. Most of them are, everything's free. We also have a new networking group that's going to have an organizational meeting next Wednesday. I did send that out. Um, I know you're on this call, so you don't need another group necessarily. But if you'd like to visit that group, um, you can certainly join us next Wednesday, November 6th at two o'clock on Zoom. Now that group is going to meet in person, but we're doing an organizational meeting, just trying to get everybody together, make sure everybody understands this is going to be a little different um, and, and just reach out to me. Um, it's, we're trying a couple different things, but we do have we have a number of people that have expressed interest in a new, you know, starting some new groups. So um, please, if that's you, if you'd like to know, or you have somebody on your team or your, you know, your employee or a whatever partner in your business, whatever, please let me know and we'll definitely get them included on that. But lots going on, Don. I know I always take a lot of time, but I, it's a good opportunity. Thank you. Good stuff to share. Thank you. Thank you yep. so much. Yes, Poppy Three. Jennifer, dumb question. Did um Medical Mutts let Liz want to do sponsorship or no? Okay, so they are supposedly, I don't mean to say it like that. I think they're they're considering it, but they are going to hopefully be there to attend and see, but medical mutts was a connection that Pavi3 made for me, um, connected us. And they literally are rescue dogs, I think, mm -hmm. um, dogs that then become therapy dogs for different conditions and different, um, oh, PTSD was one that I remember her saying, and I'm like, oh my gosh, but they're rescue dogs. So and they get I, trained. They get trained to do this. So they, I, put it out to them that there are a couple sponsorship options they could could do. The one thing I will continue to put out there, this event, I want everybody that attends to walk away with something. Um, and so um, you do not have to spend a bunch of money. Don and I were talking about, you could put a business card together with a piece of chocolate 
or something. Don would love that. But um, chocolate, but maybe with a, um, you know, a wish for somebody to have a wonderful holiday season or here's my New Year's um, wish for you or or a piece of business knowledge that you would like to share with somebody. We will make sure that um, you know how many, right? At the moment, I always try to go, we have probably anywhere from, and this will probably be a well-attended one, um, it'll probably be anywhere from 35 to 45 or 50 people. So I would like if somebody is contributing that you're giving a gift to everybody that you, you know, if you do something like that, I'd like you to have, you know, 45 of your cards or whatever. Um, we do have some door prizes that I will be disclosing a little bit later. And the other one, real quick, networking for a cause is Secret Families of Hamilton County. And I can only say that we, as an organization, have been part, we've been very connected to Secret Families for years. And you just have to check out and I think it's secretfamilieshc.org to learn more about what they do. And I cannot say enough good stuff. Um, this has been a wonderful year of finding out about some really great causes. Um, we had Girls Inc. We had um, what did we have? Hundred Black Men. Hundred. I'm sorry. Hundred Black Men. And what was the mm -hmm. other one? What was Girls it? Inc. And the first one was Parkinson's. Was it the Parkinson's? Yes. Parkinson's yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. Good, 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 good. So, yes. So, you know, just um, I don't know. You could probably go back and and you could <laughs> you could check out our old information on it. But Secret Families, this is their season. And obviously, if you're looking for something to do and you want to contribute on behalf of your business or you just want to make a difference, I don't care if it's business or not, Secret Families is a great, great cause to be part of. So anyway, I'll leave it at that. But yes, our medical mutts hopefully will be there. If not actually a sponsor, they'll be there to, to get to meet people. They're very excited about that. Thank you. Cool. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I, I'm going to remind you to talk about the, the, the focus on gratitude for this uh, last quarter of the year. And, and through that focus on gratitude, we're talking about, um, you know, giving something of ourselves, um, something that our guests will be very happy to uh, walk away with and know that time spent with us during fun, this fourth quarter fun Fridays was well worth it. So we're hoping that everybody gets creative and participates and we're just looking forward to having a wonderful time. Thanks again, Jennifer. All righty. Um, let me see. A couple of things I wanted to share before we jumped into our roundtable introductions. I have, I've had the chance to uh, touch base with some of our former Collaborating Connections members. And I mentioned Collaborating Connections has been around for seven years now. Um, so certainly we have seen uh, members come and go, you know, reach uh, a point within their business um, life that, um, you know, the, the Tuesday night at 6 p.m. didn't work out for them, but they are still cheerleaders in the background and definitely stay in touch with us. Uh, one of our members, former member Stacy Schamberger-Smith, from Atlanta, Georgia area, um, who was um, involved with Tava Health and Wellness Products when she was a part of our group. And she has uh, since become a licensed life insurance um, provider and is very actively doing that and doing some other uh, small business endeavors. So I had a chance to chat with her today and just touch base and and uh, she, of course, loves being an entrepreneur, loves staying busy. So I uh, just wanted to share that as well. Um, let me see. Uh, Pauline with PSR Designs. You remember her, Jennifer? Um, and she's still very active. Um, and I see all of her creative designs that she's 
constantly doing when she's posting and updating on Facebook. And she's always been a creative uh, where she can style and design. Uh, well, she does wedding invitations and, and uh, paper goods related to weddings. She also does a lot of um, personally um, designed glasses and woodwork and picture frames and all kinds of great stuff. So um, she's still staying busy. And uh, during the holidays is, is a really good time when individuals who might, who might need her expertise. So I'm going to uh, share some, you'll see on our Facebook, Collaborating Connections Facebook page, some of our uh, former members and attendees. I I, I still want to uh, publish and, and share their craft and skills with others because you never know when you might need or uh, be in need of their, their products or services. So just wanted to share those updates. It's cool uh, to watch former collaborating connectors continue to succeed and do well and just keep growing. Um, so with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and start our roundtable introductions now. Uh, CB Bjork was the first one on the call tonight with me. So I'm gonna invite, hey CB, are you ready to introduce yourself and your business? I sure am, thank you very much. And we actually go with businesses. So kind of like you, Dawn, we got a lot going on. So yes. let's go there. First and foremost, going to talk photography here. We're in the last week of October. Next time we meet, first week of November. What are your plans for the new year? It's going to be here in 15 minutes. If you're not looking at your marketing and what you're planning to do, hitting 2025 running, by the time 2025 gets here, you're already going to be behind because there's other people out there who are already planning and already coming up with their marketing plans for 2025. Now's the time to get the product photography. Now's the time to get the personal branding photography. Now's the time to get the headshots that you need for 2025. And so reach out to me. I'll have my information over there in the uh, uh, notes for the thing. Uh, but if you're not planning now for 2025, Boat's going to leave the dock for you. Sorry to say, but you got to get planning on it. Number two, um, drop back just a second. That's Ascension Imaging Photography. And with that, um, I do business photography, which is headshots, branding, marketing. Um, I also am a licensed FAA licensed drone pilot, so I can also do real estate. Um, I can do, if you just need a big overhead shot of your uh, business, of your building, of your whatever. I can do that as well with the drone. So there's a lot of neat things that can be done there. Next over, CB Bjork Photography. I also work uh, there doing uh, family portraiture, uh, senior photography, um, kind of the other side of what I do. Uh, so if you have an event, if you need a family's photo done, um, the holidays are a great time because Thanksgiving, Christmas, everyone is around the table. They've traveled back and they're all around. So it's a great time to get um, a good group family photo done. So you can reach out to me on that. I'll also have that information over to the side. Oh, next. Should you be in Columbus, Ohio this weekend at the fairgrounds in Columbus, Ohio, um, at the, they, I call it the Lausch building, but I think it's actually pronounced the Lachey building um, at the uh, fairgrounds there in Columbus. We are going to be having the Gift of Light Expo. Um, I will be there doing readings. Um, I'm a psychic medium and author in the world of the paranormal. And I will also be there with my friend Jason, who runs Celestial Dawning, and we will have aura photography uh, there as well. You can also come by, collect any sage you need, um, just a whole bunch of stuff, pendulums, crystals, just a whole bunch of stuff out there in the metaphysical world. So stop by and see us there that Saturday, um, 10 to 6, and Sunday, 10 to 5. And so we'll be out there for that. And not to forget uh, my lovely wife, Catherine Brahas Bjork at this juncture, because she is a medium and an animal communicator. And she is, of course, uh, out there to take uh, readings for your pets. All she needs is a photo. Pet can be alive or past. So, and you can find her at uh, thecrazyredhairedlady.com. 
I'll put that over in the notes as well for you to be able to contact her. Uh, oh, yes. And I'm sitting here working on it in the background um, is My Soul Lives Here. And those are the T-shirts that I have. And basically, where does your soul live? Where is that place that makes you happy? What is that point in which you find your peace and relaxation? For some of us, it might just be chocolate. But others of us have other ideas about what makes us happy. Maybe it's the beach. Maybe it is traveling. Maybe it is being out in the woods camping, all sorts of different things. Um, I have a motorcycle, so I love the open road. And so there's things like that. And all those designs can be made, or I have made, I should say. But if you have one that's not there, let me know. I can design something for you specifically, and I can also handle uh, t-shirt orders if you are looking to get some t-shirts for um, events or whatever. So I can also personalize stuff. So if you're looking at mugs, if you're looking at a handful of other items, reach out and contact me on that. I'm happy to help you with that. With the holidays coming up, if you're wanting to do any personalized items, um, either with your business or personal um, now's a good time to reach out so I can get those orders taken care of for you. So I will put that information in the notes as well. So anybody have any questions? Yes. <laughs> is, your, is is the website all up with, with all of your offerings? I, I'm still working on it because I've had to go back and remaster everything. Um, when I got the shirts in... I don't know that I can see. So there it is. My soul lives here. And you see, I'm a guy. I put a t-shirt on and it's cool. What I didn't think of is when women put on a t-shirt, it works a little differently because I don't have undergarments that I wear under my t-shirts. So I went back and went with the top selling one instead of the, of the second top selling one. And so... Um, I'm reworking everything so it gets to be a better shirt. So it uh, doesn't matter who you are, uh, the shirt wears nicely because that's really what we want in all this. We want a shirt that gets taken care of everything. So um, once I get that done, hopefully tonight or tomorrow, fingers crossed, fingers crossed, we will have everything up and going. So yay. All righty. CB, yeah. what do you use to create that though? Like... Would you Canva. do something off? No, I'm saying, would you do it off of a picture or how? I can I can do it. However, um, when I put it into the system, it's just a JPEG. So, um, or actually, my I think it's a PNG file. Actually, sorry, it's a PNG file. But you can print really anything on anything. The right. new way of doing the printing is to actually do it in a way where basically the shirt is dyed in that color in that area. So I don't know if it's a heat thing or what. I that process is beyond me. I'm 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 a maker of shirts, not you know designer of the machines. But the nice thing is is it won't fade. Um it lasts a really long time. It's not one of those that you end up uh ends up cracking, ends up after four or five wears of looking really bad. Um this is actually attached to the fibers of the shirt. So it gives it a much longer long life than what you'd normally get and you can do it with mugs you can do it with um just a whole bunch of stuff uh tote bags if you want um all sorts of things so if you may have a, a marketing event coming up in the first of the year again um i can also work to get uh some marketing supplies for you that might be something like the tote bags or things like that too so and i can get your price quote for that if you're buying in a bulk thank you yep Cool. Jennifer. I don't know if I have a question as much as I would just tell everybody in CB, go plug your ears. Okay. Cause <laughs> no, I just want to say that, um, <laughs> that I just, um, I wish everybody could, because obviously CB has got all the, um, the talent beyond the talent but he's also got the other part of it, which is being persistent and not being, I think there's so many of us that just kind of give up. You guys aren't the ones, you know, I don't think you're the ones because you're on the call. You know, I mean, there's a, there's something about that, but I do think there's a lot of people out there that I met over the years, you know, that 
if they ran into a house uh, 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 show or a weekend open house, Carol, that they didn't have any showings, they'd get off, you know, they'd be done. You know, I mean, you guys know what you're doing, but I mean, CB is, I've had him do our pictures. I've had him, you know, and I have referred him not thinking that I didn't think he was good, but I was just like, he's a nice guy, you know, he's getting started, but he's good at what he does too. I mean, sometimes you have to go out there and toot your own horn. Um, but I'll tell you, he does, um, he did our picture for our group. And um, I really love the picture. <laughs> Every time we, when we're using it on stuff right now, um, we're doing quite a bit. You guys will see it on the website if you haven't already seen it, but um, it'll be on the website and featured events that are coming up. But also um, it is, well, it's on my cards now too. It doesn't matter, but I'm just saying that I think he's a really good, um, you, CB, I say this, you, you, I mean, you have to toot your own horn. You have to get out there and do it. You know, people, I don't, I don't know if it's fake it till you make it because you're not faking anything. You're good at what you do. Um, but it's just, you have to believe in yourself and you have to keep doing it. And I know you've got a group of people that are depending on you, your family. So, you know, I know that you guys have got your hands full and I'm just so it's not a surprise that Catherine said, take your crazy out to play yesterday, because I think that's probably one of the things that that I just really admire about you guys. Keep doing what you're doing. We are glad you're here. And I would just tell everybody on the call, if you hear of somebody needing anything that you think CB can do, do not, don't, don't hesitate. I think you'd be honest if you couldn't, right? Yeah. I think you have been honest on a group. The, the photo Jennifer refers to is actually a group photo um, with her yep. gospel group. There's Jennifer and three uh, gentlemen who uh, perform together. And I actually used the drone for the shot she's talking about and then brought it back in and edited it up, um, added some effects in. And it's it's really a, a great shot of them um, together. So there's all sorts of creative things you can do. And it's just getting the people together and <laughs> taking good images with them even if they're goofy looking people is that what you're saying you were laughing i think you were laughing yeah any I, any, any group I of people not say it enough and um you know just you've got it you've got to be your own cheerleader sometimes you know because i i didn't doubt that cb knew what he was doing but i hadn't seen a lot of his work now I've seen work, you know, now I'm getting more and that's what it's all about. Right. But you just have to. And, you know, when a, I'm just going to say it in a group like this, if you don't do very good work, you probably are not going to survive very long because people are not going to want, to, <laughs> you yeah. know, but you, you kind of step out on, in faith a little bit that, you know, you're in this group and. I don't think CB would put in the time all week to work and then get on these calls. I, I know he likes what he does. He loves what he does. It's the only reason I do my music, but that's, but there's something about that. You still have to have, you ha I don't know. You guys know what I'm talking about. He is good at what he does. So I would just put it out there. Don't hesitate. I have some other thoughts, CB, that I'm still trying to mull around in my head because we need more promotional stuff than what we have. So I'll keep you posted on that. Let me know. Um, I'm happy to help however I can. I know. I know. That's the important thing. I love, I love watching people succeed. There's so many people out there that look at it as um, they want to be the exclusive. They want to be the only. They 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 kind of uh, want to take all the oxygen out of a room, if you will. And there's enough people out there. There's enough customers out there, you know, and it's, it's really just wanting to watch people succeed and see them do well. And I always, uh, always try and cheer on the uh, entrepreneur, the uh, solopreneur, the one who's working at trying to do it themselves because um, you know, each of those stories is a success story and what a wonderful thing to be able to be a part of. So that's, what's really great. Awesome. Thank you so much, CB. Much appreciate you. Okay, next I want to ask Javi3 Kilgore. Are you ready to introduce yourself and your business? 
Yes, but before I introduce myself, CB, thanks for making me feel like a slacker today. <laughs> no, but there's a lot wait, of truth. To wait till just... I really get rolling. You know, this right? is just me in the in the pre-rolling <laughs> stage. Wait till I really get it going. No, I just wanted to something that popped in my head when you were saying that I used to quote almost daily is a quote from J.J. Watts. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. Yep, right? Success isn't owned, it's leased, and rent is due every day. And what when Jennifer was saying, like, we're not the type to give up, Jennifer, I don't know that it's not that I'm not the type to give up. It is the fact that I know I've got the support network that when I want to give up, they will pull me back, right? So what CB is doing for entrepreneurs is huge. So sorry, I had to get that out there. All right. Now, what do I do for a living? Oh, crap, I forgot about that. So I am Pavitra Kilgo with KPSK Consulting, providing full circle full cycle human resources for small to medium sized businesses. And what does that mean? Everything from hire to fire. Um, if I'm being nice, I would say hire to retire, but let's be honest, it's hire to fire. And that's where the small businesses need help in protecting themselves. My main goal is we specialize in labor and employment law, but my main goal is making sure my clients are agency compliant because you're gonna get a government agency show up at your office or your company long before you will ever get litigation. And the problem is it is, it is free to for anybody to file a case with the government agencies and they have to accept the case regardless of they think there's merit or not and then go through the investigations process. So you cannot stop the government agency from coming because they're going to. But what I want to make sure is when they do show up, you're in a position to say, go jump. And I say that bluntly because if you are engaging somebody after the government agency shows up, you're up against the time clock and that's going to cost you a crap ton more money. So don't wait for the agency to show up, get in front of it. Just make sure you have everything that you need to be doing to protect your business. So that's what I do for a living. And call me if you need me. All righty. Uh, just for clarity, how, mm -hmm. how much is a crap ton? I'm sorry? <laughs> how, how much, much is, a is a crap ton? Um, uh, for a lot of small businesses, more than they have invested. Okay. And okay. I, I read somewhere before I started, this is like what old stats from about five, six years ago, that 80% of the small businesses that declare bankruptcy in the first five years does it because they can't afford litigation or agency fines. Mm. So the only way to get out of it is file bankruptcy. So let's not be part of that statistic. That's all I want my clients to do. Awesome. Awesome. Well, we, we're publicizing your, um, your TTR presents most definitely because small business definitely need that information. Some of them don't even know it, but yeah. we're, we're, we're trying to make sure that we share it and share it and share it some more. Um, so that they're not part of that statistic. So thank you so much. Pavel. I have some staggering numbers from government agencies this year um, that I'll share with you guys. Okay, good, good. Any other questions or comments for Pavi 3 Kilgore and KPSK Consulting? All right. Well, let's all get uh, registered for her TTR Presents and share the, that word of mouth and through social media uh, to get people involved. Thanks again, Pavi3. Next up, Kara Blackman. Are you ready to introduce yourself and your business? 
Yes, I am. Um, I'm Carol Blackman, and I am a real estate agent in both Indiana and Florida. But if you know of anybody that's even moving out of the country, I can most likely help them as well because we are a global company. And um, I love what I do. I have a passion for what I do. And I love helping people. And I I think I've told you about this one case. It's a, it's a lot that I've been trying to get done, get closed on for this woman who, who needs the money. And we've had instances where it was in her and her sister's name. And I had to ha dig in to find out who the kids were, get them to sign off on it. And we're supposed to close this week on the 31st. And it just yesterday evening, as I got home from Arkansas, um, her son texted me and said that, asked me what an update was. And I said, we should be closing on the 31st. We should be good to go. He said, okay. He said, we had our water turned off today. They, wow. They're desperate. She just, she works at Steak and Shake in Brownsburg. Yeah. And God love her. I know she's her son lost his job because of the car accident. Um, probably almost two years ago now. So she just doesn't have the money to put everything she needs to put because she doesn't work enough hours to make enough money to pay all the bills plus medical. Um, so I paid their water bill today. Wow. I paid, uh, I paid a little bit extra so that they could get the turn on fee taken care of as well and a little bit of credit. So they have, you know, they're doing okay. But um, I was actually kind of very surprised at Brownsburg. Uh, they were only behind one month and turned their water off on them. I was a little surprised at that, but anymore, who knows? Uh, but I took care of them because I knew how desperate the situation was. I know she's closing this week and going to be able to hopefully not have to worry about this stuff again. And I feel, I feel horrible for him, absolutely horrible for him. And all I want to do is help him try to get this done. So I, I love what I do and um, have a passion for it. I love helping people. And that's just one case in point. And thank you, Don. I appreciate oh. that. I will let them know. That good. But that's who I am. That's what I do. And I love what I do. So anybody's got anybody who's thinking about selling, wanting to sell, wanting to buy, thinking about buying in the next year, you haven't seen me. I will take excellent care of them. Thank good, you. Good. Thank you for all that you do, Carol. Um, there's, there's a lot of professionals out there who are, um, you know, looking for their, for their paper, how they can make a book and, and just survive. I, mm -hmm. I love that, you know, you're doing good for others. And of course, you know, that goodness is coming back to you mm -hmm. in, in, in the form of blessings, etc. So yeah. thanks again for, for all that you do. Um, anybody else got any questions or comments for Carol? I am um, sorry. I was trying to find my my thing mute, <laughs> but um, no, Carol. When I said that before, have you seen a lot of? Because um, you were saying that you sat at the or you had the open house. I don't know if you sat there the whole time, but you didn't have any authors or whatever, <clears throat> right? Um, are you finding this has been a really challenging? I mean, the people who don't know what they're doing <laughs> are kind of leaving because did they, they they rushed in right when the pandemic happened? Yep, a lot of because we had a lot. I think we've talked about this before. We yes. had a lot of retire not retirement. I'm sorry, um, realtors who showed up at our events a couple of years ago, and now they're nowhere to be found. Now that doesn't right. mean they're not doing something, but I don't think they're real estate, right? The people yeah, that it, a lot ahead. of them came in came in when it was good. Yeah, people were getting over asking for their houses. They were, you know, just things were good, and they were hearing about, you know, the income. Which, by the way, that income is temporary. 
It doesn't happen every day. You may do a deal today and not have another one for two months. So it's not an everyday thing. It's a pipeline. You have to keep that going. And there are some people that have had a pipeline for been doing it for 20 years. And they, they are working basically on nothing but referrals. But a lot of people got into it, didn't have a pipeline, didn't have referrals, but thought they were going to instantly start making that money. Right. And that's not the way it works. Right. And that's what's happened. They just got in, got out. Because then they have to work for it. They don't know how. Right. They were just handed it to them. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I And I know you've been doing it for a number of years. I just, I don't know. I just kind of like, it does not something I would do very well. I would be so wrapped up in, and I, I know you're, you're very good at what you do. So I'm <laughs> this idea that you have somebody that needs help with their water and stuff. It's just like, oh my gosh, it would be such an emotional up and down. It is. Dealing with somebody. But then when you can help them, get to the other side, which I'm sure they will with your help. Yeah, yeah. that's, we you just know. got a few more days to get through and it's yeah. just, it's tough. And then her son, her son was the one who let me know. And she said, he said, we had our water turned off. He said, and I checked mom's bank account. She's minus 195. Oh. She was negative. Uh. And she's not the one who's telling me it's her son. She's embarrassed. I know she's embarrassed. I would be. That her son's the one to tell me. So I went online to Brownsburg Water and paid it. Wow. You're a sweet lady. So, <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. I know you're not asking for that, but I, I no. yeah, I know you're you're a good person. All right. I've used my time up, Don. I'm muting myself. <laughs> All right. Another question came to mind. So I know um, a lot of people, you know, uh, retire and move to Florida with the with with all the weather situations and and then the political environment, et cetera, in Florida. Do you get a, a people now inquiring about uh, moving out of the country when you mentioned that you you can facilitate connections with mm -hmm. individuals um, who are interested in going abroad. So uh, do you, do you have, have you noticed an uptick in that or is, are there other um, desirable countries that people are looking to retire to? No, not that I have seen. I know some of them have, but not that I have seen. So yeah, once in a while, I'll see somebody, Hey, I'm, I'm getting rid of everything because I'm moving out of the country. Uh, in fact, there's a property for sale. I forget where it is, but the owner is moving out of the country in the next year. So she's selling her business. So I was just once in a while you run across it. Okay. I, I heard um, somebody talking um, on social media, talking about some other countries that are uh, that pay a, a stipend or a bonus for individuals to move um, mm -hmm. countries that are, you know, have a very high percentage of uh, senior citizens living there and they're trying mm -hmm. to revive uh, a younger um, demographic. Yeah. 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 And uh, so I, I thought that, that was pretty interesting. I don't know how many Americans just think about, huh, that sounds pretty cool. I can, I can get a, a stipend or a, you know, uh, a lump sum to go move to this other country and, and, you know. A lot of times those employers will pay mm -hmm. for your yes. home, right? For your rental or whatever that monthly, you get a monthly stipend to yes. pay your mortgage or whatever that is. But then you also got to look at, depending on where you're moving to, the dollar can go a very, very long way. And yeah. you are still earning in dollars while you're living in a different country. So it makes sense. And, and some of them are just exact opposite. And like Sweden, uh, the cost yeah. of living in Sweden is un goshly high. Yeah. It is ridiculously high. Uh, but it's a beautiful country. You're paying for the countryside and, and the living, the laid back living resources, style. Yeah. Yeah. 
but uh, some of them are, are really high and some of them aren't. So it yeah. depends on where you go. No, I agree. Cause I mean, when we were looking to do our trip next year, like we were looking at Denmark and London and all of that. Mm -hmm. And it was just like, I can't okay. justify the prices. Right. Whatsoever. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Hey, Jennifer, I do have a question for you. You saw my little bottle opener? Uh, uh, what does it say? I can't see it. What is it? Do you see that? It's hard to see. You, but... you need to change Hold your on. background, Carol. Oh, well. make... Okay, yeah, I do. It's, it says, you know me, I know real estate. It's a picture of a house. I know I need to change my background, but it's a bottle opener is what, actually what it is. Yeah. Would that work for yes. giveaways? Yes. Something yes. like that? Okay. Yes. Thank you for asking. I just yeah. got these in. Yes. If you've okay. got a so. to, to share, yeah. You okay. don't have to provide enough for everybody if you don't have enough to share. But if oh, you have got enough. some door prizes or so. I've got enough. Well, and that's exactly what I want people to be creative. You know, that's exactly you never know. And I was so excited. Yeah. Thank you, Carol. Yeah. That was when uh, Dawn said that Lisa, Lisa Bowers had shared. I'm not laughing, but it's like you guys have known each other for years and you just never know, <laughs> you know, I mean, yep. you just never know. And Carol may be giving somebody, a, uh, you know, they end up with their thing. I will tell you, um, Catherine Barajas Bjork has agreed to um and she's not just giving them so just so y'all know she's she's going to work with this but she does manicures and i asked her if we could have five of them so there are going to be manicures as door prizes so if you need a manicure people you know i mean and what did she say every two weeks or something you're supposed yeah. to have a manicure i was like how about never <laughs> you don't want to look at my fingernails Anyway, but Carol, no, those would be great. Those would be wonderful. So Thank Jennifer, you. I have a dumb question for okay. you because Carol just brought up something good. Do you yep. want me to still have a swag table or do you want me to do something different? It's up to you. It's up. That's a good question. I do want this to be something. This is, this sounds really, and I, I don't want to take away because I told you guys I was done. The, um, <laughs> what I want though I went to what our church called, was it Via de Cristo or something? It's Via de Cristo. I know different churches have different things, but it's kind of like, it's called the banquet or something for other churches. But anyway, you walk in and you feel like you're being showered with love. And I don't want to be weird about this, but that is what I want people to leave that event feeling and, and I'm not putting a, I don't want anybody to think you have to give some gigantic thing. I just want people to walk out saying that was neat. This makes me feel so good. And the rest of my day is going to be wonderful. And if it sends them off to do something wonderful for somebody else, that's what I want. So it just, yeah, you don't have to, you always have such a great swag table, but maybe you want it to be a little different. We can talk about Well, I mean, I was going to say I think I will do the swag table because everybody can pick whatever they yeah, want off yeah. the swag table, but then I'll have my usual uh, giveaway, okay. which I haven't quite figured out yet, but I will okay. be for the 22nd. <laughs> yes, but don't worry about it. You are, you are on, but yes, I will mute myself. I'm done. Bye. Sure. Sure. She is. Yeah. Oh, well, um, thanks again, Carol. <laughs> and we, uh, it, since Jennifer is not going to introduce herself or talk anymore, she says, we'll, uh, I, I want to acknowledge our Collaborating Connections members who are not here tonight, um, but to make sure that uh, we talk them up a little bit and give them their, uh, give them their flowers while tonight. Uh, Robert Bonjour is uh, with Offset Printing. They are a fourth generation family printing business here in the central Indiana area. So if you have any printing needs, Robert Bonjour, who is also one of TTR Networking's global partners. Uh, let's see, Nicole Williams, who is not here tonight. He is a social media strategist. Um, so she's very creative. 
uh, full of energy and ready to help any uh, small to mid-sized business with any of their marketing and social media needs. That's Nicole Williams. Nancy Vesley is a longtime member of Collaborating Connections, and she is with iAmerica Health Insurance. Um, she's always knowledgeable, helpful, and focused on individuals' health needs. Uh, she can also as assist small businesses with their health insurance uh, programs. So if you have any questions, especially right now, um, with there's uh, open open season for selecting uh, health uh, benefits for uh, individuals. So it's a great time to reach out to Nancy Vesley. Robert Haley with Old National Bank. Robert is a uh, seasoned mortgage loan specialist who has just a vast knowledge of um, credit, financing, et cetera. If you have any questions, are looking to buy, looking to sell, uh, well, well, looking to buy and finance, Robert is your connection with Old National Bank. Uh, let's see, who else have we got? Philip Johnson with AA Solar Wash. Uh, Jennifer mentioned a little bit earlier her her other half. Um, we often hear or or see solar panels by the side of the highways or on uh, residential housing. And a lot of individuals might not realize that in order to maintain the efficiency, those solar panels need to be cleaned. So in a solar wash can help you in that endeavor, reach out to Philip Johnson of Collaborating Connections. Um, Deanna Moray with Resenergize Sanctuary. Uh, Resenergize Sanctuary is an alternative health and wellness center. Um, they have the uh, Scalar Wave Energy. They also have various other uh, health and wellness products and systems to benefit individuals. And if you are at all interested in taking advantage of that alternative health and wellness, uh, please reach out to Deanna Murray with Resenergize Sanctuary. I think I've covered everybody. Was that everybody? Okay. Now I'll talk a little bit about me really quick. Um, I think I've already mentioned Don Evans Casey. One of my companies is Spa Travel, which is all about uh, relaxed adventure. I love to help my clients have wonderful, memorable travel experiences. So if you're thinking about going somewhere, um, considering various options, need some guidance to, uh, to help you along the way, Spa Travel is here to help. As well, my husband and I work with uh, Claiming Your Roots, which is a multi-generational uh, family history and genealogy uh, awareness organization. We help families come together, use their own skills and, and time and resources to start, uh, initiate their family history search. And with the artifacts, pictures, letters, um, uh, documents that they are able to, to gather up, we help them pull that together and keep it organized in a wonderful keepsake that they can continue to build on and pass forward to future generations. Claiming Your Roots is on Facebook as a, a page and often uh, provides tips and tricks on um, breaking down those brick walls and getting into making sense of your family history and DNA, et cetera. Um, also cheerful chocolate spirit. Oh, chocolate is my passion. And I love to share uh, recipes and pictures and poetry and quips about enjoying chocolate. Um, it's, it is the the pick me up, the highlight of my day when I get to uh, look at new recipes and uh, get my hands in and enjoy some some decadent, delicious dark chocolate. So um, if you know of any chocolate lovers, please feel free to direct them to the Facebook page, Cheerful Chocolate Spirit for more information. 
And uh, I, I want to take this opportunity. We've talked so much about gratitude and there is a whole gratitude movement in place right now and uh, initiated with promptings and send out cards. So um, in that endeavor, um, there are gratitude journals and gifts and personalized greeting cards that you can design and have send out cards, send them off, mail them off for you in all in the hopes of spreading and sharing gratitude. You know, um, when we talk about what's necessary to, to turn the world on a positive spin, that that feeling of acknowledging and sharing gratitude is at the core. So if anybody would like a little bit more information about send out cards and the prompting experience in the midst of this gratitude movement, please feel free to touch base with me. I would love to share more. Does anyone have any questions or comments for me? All righty. Well, we are wrapping up the month of October with tonight's meeting on the 29th, and our theme for October has been out-of-the-box marketing. So um, we are in the 10th month of the year with only a couple months to go, and I'm wondering, I, I want to uh, uh, have everybody kind of jump in on the comments of what marketing technique has really worked best for you this year? Um, and what are you planning to expound on in 2025? You know, we've heard CB say that now is the time to, to plan for, to think, to strategize on your marketing methods, what's going to be effective, what's going to bring you to new and, and numerous more connections to get your brand out there. So what has worked in 2024 and what are we focused on developing uh, in our marketing repertoire for 2025? Anybody? I think for me personally, I will say that the money I spent on just advertising outside of, right, um, was a waste of my money. I had the magazines, the, yeah, um, the advertising along with networking combined, I think made the biggest difference. Okay. It helped to generate referrals, clients in itself, and having that those ads out and they know where you're coming from made a big difference as opposed to a ad in a magazine that nobody knows, have a clue who you are. So. Gotcha. And, and you think that's because... Um... It doesn't stick with them just looking past a, an ad in a magazine. They need more more content, more understanding of of who you are and what your business is to to I think so, especially with what I do, right? Mm -hmm. It's they see the ad, although the ad says fractional HR, we do blah 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 blah. Um it it kind of goes like right over their heads, right? I mean I can't count the times I had to explain in Canada what fractional HR was. And that's the same thing in the States. So I think the ad along with for them to get to know you and understand what you do has made the difference for me personally in my business. Okay, gotcha. What, any, are you planning to, to tweak that or strengthen that in any way going into 25? Yeah, I am um, planning on several things. Besides a very robust digital marketing campaign, I'm planning on like hosting webinars, doing dinner experiences, attending conferences. I'm talking with the Better Business Bureau on being a featured speaker with them. I'm working with SCORE on getting out there as a um, subject matter expert so that I can get in front of 
the right audience. And I plan to do that not just here, but other states as well. So my goal is every time I travel to a state, I'm going to do a in-person dinner experience or something that I can organize ahead of time and get to know some of the local business owners. Awesome. I, I, I just, I like the thought of the dinner experience. I, <laughs> you know, I mean, how many do I get at home, right? Like, hey, come have dinner with us and we'll tell you about whatever. And half of them are timeshares. And <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, I'd rather get in front of like 10 or 20 not a large room, right? 10 or 20 business owners between 10 to 150 employees that truly need the fractional piece and kind of give them some education on the why, what I do, why you need it. And here's some of the stuff you need to be aware of as you go back to your business and look at, are you at a point where you need to talk to me? Right. So, I mean, it's worth it. For me, I think. I agree. As long as I can, you know, convince them. But there is that. <laughs> very good. Very the good. The personal touch is always best. Yeah. And w whenever you can have that personal touch to anything you do, mm -hmm. that, that makes the interaction so much better. Yeah. That's why I'm leaning more towards the dinner experiences and um, speaking at conferences over webinars. But webinars are easier to reach. So, so I have I mean, to combine all of it. Combination, yeah. though, between all of them. It feels like you're covering, you know, all corners of the board. Uh, yeah. You have to this day and age. You do. You do. Yeah. You can't necessarily be um, present and in person at every opportunity. So if you have other mediums that kind of cover when you're not available and then right. you can reinforce it with your personal presence when you when you're able, when when your schedule permits, that sounds like a win win. Agreed. All righty. Anybody else, your thoughts on what has worked best in 24 and what you're focusing on in 25? No, but I just think that Pavi three better play. She better write down right now on paper. And if she doesn't, if she doesn't write it in blood, it's okay. But we're going to keep her to it that it, no matter how busy she gets, she's still going to show up on our calls once in a while and make sure that we know that she's doing all right. And then as she hires a team, she can say, it was all due to my connections with PPR networking and inspire small dogs. <laughs> So yeah. let me ask you this, Jennifer. Uh -oh. I just got done telling you that <laughs> what has worked for me wasn't just advertising, but the advertising with networking. So what on earth are you thinking that I'm going know. to <laughs> give up the one method that has tried and true work in me growing my business? So I uh, I hate to point this out to anybody who's listening to you can't get rid of me yet. Okay, good. Well, <laughs> you're gonna get so busy and so popular, you're gonna say, "Oh well, I can't do it, guys. Gotta go." So yeah, yeah, we'd be really bummed if you if you were gone. So do not leave us. Agreed. Just and wait just until you turn on the TV and she's on all the morning talk shows and she's you know, doing, <laughs> yeah. Not till after I finish yeah. writing my book, CB. Yeah, yeah. Well, it it happens in the way it's supposed to. It doesn't always happen in the way you want. So yeah. you never know. You're out there speaking, and next thing you know, you're flying to New York and you're on all the TV shows. And yep. Yeah. I I I can personally say though that yes, your what you do is unique. And when I first heard about it, I really didn't know. Well, well, how that was going to apply or, or, um, but literally now I'm, I'm out on social media and I see people asking questions or, you know, who does this or, and, and the first thing that comes to mind is to connect them with you, Poppy three. So like you said, this, this works. 
this yeah. has given me a better knowledge of what you do and how it helps small businesses. Yeah, 100%. And it's not a one and done, right? You yeah. can't show up one networking event and expect to get 30 leads and for them all to materialize, right? It's you got to keep pounding the pavement and putting in the work. Yeah, I'm planning on doing these dinner experiences when I travel in different states, but you better believe it that I'm going to follow up and have those conversations and build those relationships so that when they are ready, they know I'm there. It's not about what I can get today. It's about what are the relationships I can build that's going to get me where I want to go down the road. Good, good. Awesome. Anybody else? No. Thinking about it? <laughs> well, I do agree with her that, and this is what's been the challenge. I'll just say it. I'm not doing anything really different, except, <clears throat> no, not really different, except that during the pandemic, I think I, I realize more and more just how much of an impact that made on what I did and what I didn't do and getting back out and being out there. I'm not saying I'm old, but I'm starting to feel old. So <laughs> I'm not sure that I can do what I, years ago before the pandemic, I thought we're gonna multiply like crazy. We're gonna do all kinds of things. Had no idea the, the uh, effort that had to be put into that. Really, because then we had the pandemic and we weren't able to do some of the things. So then we're all being careful. And now I'm back to reality saying, oh, my goodness, there's a lot to do out there. And if I really want to do that as much, I don't know if I do as much as I did. I would rather, do you understand? I would rather have, you know, groups that are built of these really good, dedicated people than have. You know, I mean, 25 groups wouldn't be bad, but reality is that's just not in my, I don't think that's going to happen. Although maybe we've drilled, we have drilled down our, 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 you know, some of our stuff so much that we're not who we were at the beginning of the pandemic. Maybe it'll be easier now. We are starting to multiply again. We've had kind of a stunt, but that's okay because I didn't really want it to go too much more crazy than it you know anyway I hope I'm ex explaining it well enough but I just say I'm not really doing anything different I'm probably being a little more adventurous <laughs> than I was there for a while I mean you know the, the pandemic kind of got us at least me I was freaking out you know I didn't want to and it just seemed like any time that I was around anybody who was sick I got it you know so I mean I just, you know, I mean, one music job that first year, one music job that first year. And I got, that was ridiculous with the group. Anyway, it doesn't matter, but I'm just saying, I think, you know, I really, I think it really took me for a loop. And now I'm feeling better about it, but now I'm tired. <laughs> so anyway, having said that, I'll leave it at that. But. So, you know, go ahead and exhale and, and take a breath. Yeah. No, but don't stop because I know how much you love it. I, I, I know, you know, that's how I feel. I, I can get overwhelmed at times with all of the stuff that, that I enjoy doing. So I, I take a breath or I, you know, get a little bit rest, but I, I won't stop. I'm, I'm going to be the energizer bunny. I quote think Catherine, bring your <laughs> inner child out. Yeah. yeah. I definitely take it out to play a lot. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys haven't figured that out yet, I have a lot of, and I know that's why my music is so important because it's really where I do get to play. Mm -hmm. Yeah, A lot of it's business, but, but it's, it, you know, if I don't get to have that fun, I'd never do it. So thank you. I, I know, I know we're a couple of minutes over time, but I do have to say this based on what Jennifer just said. So, I think all of you know that I am not somebody who just jumps into things without thinking through. And I've been with Inspire Small for a minute and that's where I met Jennifer first. And 
I started seeing her name on different things on Ryan's website. So I went to Ryan and I said, explain this to me. And then I started talking to different people who have either been part of it or is part of TTR. And the consistent theme I got from them is that there is a core group of individuals that are committed to building relationships and paying back. And that is what led me to kind of cornering Jennifer last November or December and saying, okay, can we meet? Because I need to know what the heck it is that I need to do. So Jennifer, it's quality over quantity. And it's paid, it's paid off for me. Awesome. I'm glad you said that, but you didn't have to. I get to pay her later, guys. For sure. doing that. I pay out. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't. I know. But thank you. That then that, you know what? And the arrangement or the 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 relationship with Inspire Small has paid me off oodles too. So, you know, I mean, that is what, how I met Pavi 3, really. I thought I'd met her before, but as she explains it, I guess we had met, but kind of, I, I don't know, it's just funny because all of a sudden there she was. And I'm it like, was I'm always through Inspire though. I've never met you outside of an Inspire event till I came to the one in person and met you. Yeah, and I'm sorry. That was kind of crazy. No, I'm joking. It was a good morning. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you, Bobby. That was one. You know, it's, it, again, comes back to those relationships matter. Those connections matter. Whether they pay off immediately or in the long run, they matter. And this is important. So we're going to just keep on doing this. Um, I mentioned earlier talking to a former Collaborating Connections member, Stacy Schamberger Smith. Uh, Stacy worked with Mimi in Tava. And Stacy talked up TTR networking to, to Mimi. And when I talked to her today, she's like, Yeah, so did you meet Mimi? And, and uh, yeah, and I said, She's leading a group. She leads our, our, our Wednesday morning group and she's doing fantastic. And she's like, Wonderful. So even when people aren't directly members and involved in the TTR networking anymore, they are still speaking about the experience and how it has changed them in their businesses. So, you know, we're just going to keep doing this, you guys. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Well, we are at time. Um, does anybody have any last minute comments or uh anything that they want to throw out there all righty let's see next month is november and what's our theme jennifer so it's no no rest for the weary and the whole idea is that everybody about this time starts to kind of let off the break and this is not now it may be a time when your business kind of slows down but this is no time to stop building those relationships. And it is no time to not be out meeting people when there's all kinds of opportunities. More now than probably there has been in the last few years, as we were just discussing. And you know, my there's there's more than you can count opportunities out there. So make them pay you back. And if you don't feel like going out to a party, go out and take a walk or something, but just don't, you know, don't sit around and think you can't do anything. This is the time and the weather's been beautiful. Go take a walk. I don't know, but, but no rest for the weary, I think is a proverb or something. I, I don't know. I was looking it up and I just remember when I was an insurance woman crazy years ago that they talk about you know, this is when you really have to put the, the gas on. And I remember maybe my mom said it or something, but no rest for the weary. And no matter how tired you are, don't give it up. Now, in the December month, you know, December, and there are holidays. Enjoy the holidays. But, you know, don't. Because like, <laughs> like CB said at the very beginning of this, there are people already into 2025. They're all set, you, you know. We got to be there, you, you know, and according to him, it was going to be 15 minutes ago. So I don't know. 
we're already into 2025 and we're already, you know, no, I thought that was funny when you said it, but that's it. That's hey, Jennifer. It. Yeah. Can you get across to all the members that if you're in TTR to get their membership activated on Inspire? Because Ryan is planning on printing all of the members yeah. on the magazines because it's going to come out quarterly. So, and it goes everywhere. He prints like thousand copies every yeah, quarter. Yeah, he did tell me that. That is a good, I need to get Nicole. We'll probably so, yeah. email. That way you guys can have, we can have our information on that magazine going out to businesses mm -hmm. as well because it's not just the members who get it. He goes to the library, coffee shops, and leaves them around. So, yeah, yeah, good idea. Thank you for that. That's a good, good reminder. All right, everyone. Um, so, keep your foot on the pedal and into November and December of 24. Remember that we are not meeting next Tuesday because it is election Tuesday, but uh, every Every Tuesday night for the rest of November, we'll be right here. Uh, go forward, have a wonderfully productive rest of the week, and we look forward to seeing you two weeks from tonight. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Thanks, Don. Bye, everybody.